Hey, what's going on friends and family? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of BKL Reviews. And today, I got something special I've been waiting to get in my hands and it finally arrived. First and foremost, before we get started with anything, I definitely want to encourage everyone to hit that thumbs up button. It goes a long way. And also, if this is your first time tuning into the channel, please subscribe. It's your best way of staying up to date with the most recent content. And you can also follow me on these social media platforms. With that being said, with no further ado, let's get into the review. Well, as you can see, this is something that I purchased from Nike.com. So let's check it out. Definitely excited about this one. Wow, put a lot of padding in here on this one. A lot of bubble wrap. What is this we have at the bottom of the box? You already know, first and foremost, for the receipt police. Voila. You have that classic, new and improved retro OG box with the Jumpman on the brim and that orange and black. So let's check it out. Today we're doing a review on a pair of Air Jordan 12 Retro and the actual color is deep royal blue, white with a style code of 130-690-400. Okay. It's staying with the theme of the retro tissue paper here. It's something that I'm just noticing now. I'm not sure if this is new or I just never paid attention to it. But is this a new quality sticker here on the inside of the box? Let me know if you actually picked up this pair if your box has that same sticker. Nice. Man, I have to say, these right here are very nice once you get them in hand. Uh, when I seen images of it, I was kind of on the fence, mainly because it's an all blue sneaker and really wasn't too sure exactly, you know, the schematics how, of exactly how it would come out. But I can honestly say once you get them in hand, they are very nice. If you're not familiar with this sneaker, this is the Jordan 12 Retro blue suede or i think the name on the box is deep royal uh this kind of reminds me of the blue suede lebron 12s as well as the blue suede uh lebron 11s so this was definitely uh something unique but let's check out the material on this as you can see the entire upper here is a soft suede i have to say along the actual back area and the ankle area is very plush I wasn't expecting that, but the suede is very soft. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but you can see that it actually moves. Very nice. Along the actual eyelets here, you have these uh, metal Jumpman Jordan um, eyelets here. It would have been nice if it was metal. It is plastic, unfortunately. Um, is it me or is it, it kind of has that color of a purple? Maybe that's the deep royal blue color. Some areas it does seem purple. Uh, like I said, the entire upper is that suede material. You have that snake texture here along the mud guard, as well as the branded here, Jumpman. And this area also seems to be a little uh, purple as well. I guess it all depends on how the light hits it. Some areas do look blue and some areas do look purple. You also have that reptile print here as well with that blue 
outsole and the blue midsole. As we move to the toe box, you get to see that suede material a lot better. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but you can see it right there. You have the blue rope laces as well as the same material along the actual entire tongue. Two, three. And at the top of the tongue, you have that white stitch Jordan Jumpman logo. Very nice. The actual medial side, you get to see the uh, snake skin or snake texture pattern here a lot better, as well as the suede. The back heel of it has that standard pull tab. You have the white Jonah Jumpman logo at the top, as well as the branding that says quality inspired by the greatest player ever with the white 23. As we move to the actual insole of the sneaker, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but it is an all blue insole with a white Jordan Jumpman logo. There you go. The actual outsole of the sneaker is standard with every Jordan 12. You have the white Jordan Jumpman logo here at the forefront of the sneaker. The hammer bone traction pads, as well as the carbon fiber shank plate in the dead center. And you also have the hammer bone traction pad here at the back. You know, it's like I said, this was an actual sneaker. I was on the fence, mainly because uh, sometimes images doesn't do the actual sneaker justice. But once you get them in hand, they are nice, I have to say. It does kind of remind me of the P, uh, PSNYs, the 12s. Um, but I can honestly say that material was a lot better. It didn't have the soft suede here. It was more of a, a rough, uh, distressed suede. Um, but overall, that one is a, a solid gray, and this one is a solid blue. Um, it's definitely nice. If this is on your radar, um, I wouldn't uh, hesitate getting it if you're able to get it. But, you know, to each his own, it might be a hard color to actually pull off. Uh, once again, I definitely want to thank everyone for tuning in to another episode of BKL Reviews. I do have another box here. Uh, I'm not sure if I should open it up mainly because um, I actually didn't get the sneaker for this one as of yet but since I already put it out might as well bless you with what's inside as you can see it is a thinner box so it honestly isn't a pair of sneakers so let's check it out together Okay, as you can see, for the receipt police. And we do have a Jordan brand t-shirt here. Here's the actual tag, style number 801-554. This t-shirt is available if you're actually looking to purchase it. You can go on Nike.com and get it. The minute I seen this one, I knew I had to get it. As you can see on the front, you have those space jams with the box and the chair. And it says, out here for days. <laughs> Pretty clean shirt, self-expandatory when you actually see the print on it. Uh, like I said, I don't know if I wanted to show it, mainly because I didn't receive the actual space jams as of yet. But since I already did, here you go. It is tagless and it does have that same Concord uh, Jumpman on the back of the shirt. I'm not sure if you noticed it or not, but the actual sneaker has the same Jumpman on it as well that kind of shimmers too. You see that? You have one on the box, you have one on the actual sneaker. So if you're looking to get this t-shirt, it is available on Nike.com. Uh, definitely want to thank everyone once again for tuning in to another episode of BKL Reviews. Uh, please, people, hit that thumbs up video if you like it. If you're new to the channel, and I hope that you're not, please subscribe. Uh, we post videos every Sunday at 12 noon, and you can also follow me on these social media platforms. Once again, I want to thank you for tuning in to another episode of BKL Reviews.